Back in studio with Josh Diesk, new goaltender for the Lloydminster Bobcats. We didn't get to talk a little bit about your philosophy on goaltending. So what's uh, been the, sort of the inspiration to be a goaltender? Would you, did you model yourself after any particular goaltender, or is it just you like being fearless and throwing yourself in front of pucks like a crazy person? I think it all started uh, back in Adam Hockey for me. I was a player, and um, I was pretty bad. So okay. <laughs> I remember one, one time there was this goalie, and he... He didn't make it to the game, so everyone was asking, like, oh, does anyone want to go in that? And I was like, I'll go in that, like, for sure, why not? Try it out. Try it out. I think we won, like, 13, 11 or something like that. So I have, like, the picture of, like, my first day. It was pretty cool. Pads around backwards and, like, player helmet and all that. But <clears throat> I like the Canucks. I'm from Surrey, so in Vancouver. So Luongo was a big idol for me growing up, and uh, it was tough to see him retire mm. this year, so... But I think, like, yeah, just growing up watching him play, um, and then Carey Price and watching him play, he's so smooth, and I like to model my game after him. And uh, I'm starting to like Sergey Borowski a lot, too, because he's just battles, and I like to battle, too, being a smaller guy. Um, a lot of goalies are, like, s like, six feet and taller. I'm only, like, 5'11", so I got to battle every single every single shot well, for my rebounds and stuff, so I like watching Borowski play because of that, but other than that, yeah. And now that does that require a different set of skills than if you're modeling yourself after Carey Price? Obviously, a lot of it is just sort of the basic, um, be really technically proficient to make everything look easy. But as a smaller goaltender, you have to be a little more dynamic sometimes with your movements. What's that like when you practice and in, 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 uh, not just regular practice, but also if you're doing sort of more workshopping on your game? Um, yeah, when I practice, I I try to be as technical as possible and kind of like working hard. I'm trying to work. I'm working hard but I'm practicing on my technical game in practice to try to be more calm. So when it comes to games that I'm more calm and more technical, but yeah, it's not, it's not like I'm working so hard in practice that I'm getting like all over the place and flying all over on my belly and stuff like that. I'm trying to be technical and if a puck goes in, then it's fine. Then you just got to work for the next shot and just um, prepare better and, and yeah, so. Is, now, is that the thing you pride yourself most on, is sort of your technical skill, or is it the battling? I think I'm an athletic goaltender, um, and I've been trying to work on my, my technical game for the last couple of years, which really helps my goalie coach back home. Um, but yeah, I think I'm, I like to battle like in front of the net, like just in tight and stuff, I like to battle. So I think that's kind of how, like, I think that's, I'm like an athletic, like I battle in front of the net and stuff like that, but I'm working on my technical game, yeah. Okay. And do you, would you say Carey Price, <coughs> you were saying you kind of modeled yourself after him a little bit. Yeah. Is he the class of the NHL for you still, or is there another guy you really like? I'm liking Sergey Borowski so far yeah. and Carey Price. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like watching a couple other guys play, like Andre Vasilevsky and stuff like mm -hmm. that, but he's a completely different goaltender, I think, compared to Borowski and Carey Price. For sure. Um, and you said, obviously, you're from Vancouver area, yeah. so a bit of a Canucks fan. Yeah. Um, they recently lost their uh, home opener. How do you feel about the team sort of heading into this season? There's a lot of skill, a lot of young guys. It's going to be excited to watch them play within the next couple of years. they got just so much talent. It's going to be so fun to watch. But um, they're such a young team, and I feel like I don't know if they'll make playoffs this year. I don't want them to, so they can get another draft pick. Okay. But, uh, after that, then I think um, I think they'll be pretty good within the next couple of years for sure. You've been influenced by the Tankapalooza uh, culture of the last couple of years, I think. Yeah. yeah. But you know what? It's worked for the 76ers, and it's worked for teams in other sports as well. So um, only, I guess, problem for you guys is you still have uh, Markstrom as your starting goaltender. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully Demko can um, develop for the next couple of years and become a starter. That would be yeah. pretty cool to watch him play. Yeah, might see that over the next couple of months. Thanks for doing this, uh, Josh, yep. and uh, good luck uh, in your next couple of games here. Thank you.